Spider-Man has been a part of the MCU for three years now. It actually feels a lot longer than that because he's been in a lot of movies. Captain America Civil War, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, and Spider-Man Far From Home. Spider-Man has definitely become one of the better characters in the MCU, and I would say at this point, considering both Iron Man and Captain America are gone, Spider-Man is the best character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is why it's extra sad to hear that Disney and Sony's partnership over the character of Spider-Man has now officially come to an end, and Spider-Man will not be in the MCU going forward. So in this video, I'll talk about why this came to be, what it means, and my general opinions about Spider-Man leaving the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So for anybody who doesn't know, Marvel went bankrupt in the 90s and they had to sell their movie rights to all of their biggest characters. They sold the X-Men and the Fantastic Four and, the, and Daredevil to Fox, and they sold Spider-Man to Sony, and Sony obviously used the Spider-Man movie rights to make a lot of their movies. Lately, however, they weren't doing so well, so they decided to make a deal with Disney that Disney was able to use Spider-Man in their Marvel movies, or the MCU movies, and they also have creative control over the Spider-Man movies, and they get 5% of the profits. Recently, the latest movie that was a part of this deal, Spider-Man Far From Home, became Sony's biggest money maker ever. Disney may be feeling entitled to a bigger share of the profits, also feeling probably responsible for the movie's success, or at least very largely be responsible. They approached Sony about upping their share of the profits of the Spider-Man movies from 5% to 50%, which Sony declined. Sony offered a compromise. We don't really know what that is, but Disney declined that as well. And that is the situation we have right here. Spider-Man and the MCU are completely separate yet again, like before Captain America Civil War, like when uh, the Amazing Spider-Man movies were coming out, or even the Spider-Man trilogy, Spider-Man and the Marvel Universe are completely separate, which means that in these Spider-Man movies, the MCU can no longer be referenced or hinted at, which will be really weird because of the fact that before uh, now, before in like Spider-Man Far From Home, the MCU played a huge role in that movie, also played a huge role in Spider-Man Homecoming, creating the two villains through Sp uh, Iron Man, usually, I mean, the fact that Iron Iron Man can no longer be referenced in the upcoming Iron Man uh, Spider-Man movies will be so weird if they continue the same continuity, which I think they are allowed to do. And at the same time, the MCU will not be able to use Spider-Man or even reference Spider-Man at all, which is going to be the biggest plot hole of the entire MCU, how Spider-Man just disappears, and not only that, but he's just never mentioned at all, If the, unless they strike another deal. If they ever do this big crossover event like the Avengers again, where they maybe go up against Galactus, Spider-Man will not be appearing, which again will be very, very, very weird. So we're basically in the same uh, situation we were in before they struck this deal, but it's even worse now, because it's not only it wasn't only Spider-Man, back then, it was the X-Men, it was a Fantastic Four, it was Daredevil, it was Deadpool, it was a lot of Marvel characters who were not a part of the MCU, or at least not for a while, and Spider-Man was a part of it, but now, Daredevil, the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Deadpool, and basically every Marvel character who isn't Spider-Man has been incorporated into the MCU, or will be, and is owned by Disney, but Spider-Man, literally the most popular superhero in the Marvel Universe, maybe in the entire world, is the only Marvel superhero along with his entire surrounding area that will not be a part of the MCU. I think that's going to really sting. Not only that, but I think it's going to hurt the future of the MCU, and I think it's definitely going to hurt the future of the Spider-Man movies, because I really think that this divorce, as they're calling it, this separation uh, between Disney and Sony, between the MCU and Spider-Man, will definitely be hurting both the uh, these companies and both the future of these franchises. In terms of who's to blame, I think it's definitely a little bit on both sides. I mean, the internet definitely has decided to blame Sony for this, which is understandable because uh, Disney owns the MCU. I mean, uh, Sony has what Disney wants, while uh, Disney doesn't really have anything for Sony. So I definitely think that it is probably why people are mad at Sony. Also, Sony just doesn't have as good of a track record. Disney has been helping them make their Spider-Man movies, and both of them have been great. Without Disney, without Kevin Feige especially, without the MCU, the Spider-Man movies are just nowhere near as good, and I think that's probably why people are blaming Sony for this, because without Disney, Sony just isn't really much of anything with Spider-Man, but without Spider-Man, Disney is still something. I still think that Disney definitely needs Spider-Man for the future of the MCU, and without Spider-Man, they are definitely going to have some sort of problems, I think, coming up with uh, as much of a compelling uh, storyline or saga as the Infinity Saga, but they definitely have a lot of characters, but Sony, it's just Spider-Man. Spider-Man and they just haven't done a good job with Spider-Man so that's probably why people are blaming them. 
But Sony actually came out blaming Disney for this decision, saying that they are disappointed of the split between their two franchises, which makes sense because Disney did help them make their biggest movie ever, and they got 95% of the profits, so I think it definitely makes a lot of sense they are disappointed, but they also said that with all their new Fox properties, Kevin Feige and Disney as a whole doesn't have the time to use characters they don't own like Spider-Man, which I think is a ridiculous thing to say. I mean, Kevin Feige has produced 23 movies in a row, most of which don't are the most of which don't star the same characters, so I definitely think that time is probably not an issue. I mean, in Phase 4, he only has five movies to produce, five TV shows to produce, and that's definitely a lot, but it's not as, it's not as much as uh, Phase 3, so I definitely think that he has definitely the time to produce Spider-Man movies. The two Spider-Man movies that were in the works, I don't think there was any problem for him to produce them, so I think that statement is ridiculous. I believe that they're disappointed uh, because they made a lot of money. I believe that they didn't want this, but I also believe that they could have avoided it. I also think Disney's a little to blame, becoming a little greedy, wanting the 50% of the profits, which they probably do, they do uh, deserve, because without Disney, they just wouldn't have made that much money, but at the same time, it's, it's definitely not a thing that a company like Sony would ever agree to, so I think that both of them are a little to, to blame. And this is definitely a huge bummer, because the future of the MCU and the future of the Spider-Man movies, it just... And this is definitely a huge bummer because the MCU Spider-Man movies are just not going to be as good. Now, Sony has, again, full control, creative control of the Spider-Man movies, which has literally never worked out in the past. I mean, the second Disney got the rights to Spider-Man, the rights to have some creative control over Spider-Man, especially with Kevin Feige, the movie just got so much better than the previous movies they've had in the past, while at the same time, the MCU in the future just doesn't seem like it's going to be as good. Without Spider-Man, the new face of the MCU like it seemed like it was going to be the new Iron Man. I don't really think they have anything in terms of the new face of the MCU. I mean, I don't think Captain Marvel, Black Panther, or Doctor Strange, or anybody really will work as the new face. Spider-Man would have been so perfect, considering he's the most famous Spider-Man, uh, he's the most famous Marvel superhero, maybe the most famous superhero ever. The fact that he was the new face of the MCU, it worked so perfectly, but now without him, and without the MCU, both the franchises of the MCU and the Spider-Man movies just don't seem like they're going to be as good which is a huge bummer. So let me know your thoughts about Spider-Man leaving the MCU in the comments down below and do you think that this will ever be changed? Do you think Sony and Disney will make a new deal in the future or do you think Disney will buy Sony? Honestly, I think the latter is probably more likely and will be preferable because that means the deal can no longer be severed in the future and Disney just has full 100% creative control over uh, Spider-Man forever. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe and thanks for watching.